What is up guys, your boy Wayne Jackson and welcome to the channel. So as you see, I'm outside. Yes, first time you've seen me outside, I'm pretty sure. But I'm actually in St. Louis, Missouri right now. If you guys do not know, I'm actually from St. Louis, Missouri. So I'm here visiting my family for the time being. I'm gonna be here for about a week. We're actually going to the music park later on, so that should be fun. But the topic of today's video is, do you need a computer science degree in order to be a software engineer? And the short answer to that is no, you do not need a computer science degree to be a software engineer. But you guys know on this channel, we don't give short answers. So we're gonna get into the long answer because there's a couple points I wanna make and caveats I wanna highlight when it comes to this topic. So no, you do not need a computer science degree. However, if you don't have any other means of proving that you can be a successful programmer or software developer, you're not gonna have many opportunities coming your way. So what do I mean by that? Well, to break this down, what does a degree do for us? A degree basically provides social proof that we're able to do the things that we say we can do. So in the specific instance of a computer science degree, it basically says we are able to understand computer science fundamentals on some level and have some, maybe some elementary or basic level of understanding of programming. There are a lot of companies out there that hire new grads and they understand they don't have a lot of industry experience. However, the degree says, okay, they have a foundation in computer science. They understand a bit about programming and they may be able to do this job successfully. So that's what a degree does. It provides us with social proof. However, the reason I say that no, you do not need a degree is because there are other ways to provide social proof around being a programmer or software engineer. For instance, having industry experience or doing an internship. Maybe you were able to land an internship without a degree or you did internships during college. Say so maybe you started college and you started doing an internship, but you did not complete your degree or your college at that point. So now you have no degree, but you have some level of industry experience. Also, freelancing is a very good way to show that you can be a successful software engineer. So building software on the side for people, for money, or some type of exchange, as I talked about in my second video, and I'll put a little link up there for you guys to go to that one. I talked about freelancing in that video and how to be successful at it. But freelancing is a very good way to build up a portfolio and a body of work to basically prove that you are able to build software and take a software problem from start to finish. Also, let's say you wanted to create like a startup of some sort. Creating a startup is a very good way to prove that you are able to build software, assuming that you're the engineer on the project. So if you have an idea out there and you have an idea for a business, Go ahead and start it up, you know. It's 2019 and the trend, the latest and greatest in trends is to have a startup. Whether or not the startup succeeds or not, it's arbitrary at this point because it's teaching you things. It's teaching you how to implement a business idea, which takes, it takes discipline, right? So that might be something that's important to the potential employer or client. Also, just being able to take new problems and solve them, you know. You're exercising that part of your brain. You're getting better and better at that. And a lot of the time when you get hired at a company, that is what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna take problems, new problems for this particular domain or this particular piece of software that you're working on, and you're gonna solve them as a software engineer. You're gonna implement the solution to them and maybe even come up with the solution for them as well. So having a startup or a business is a very good way to do that. But really all of this boils down to one thing and it's just showing that you have work experience. To kind of like further solidify this point, a degree matters less and less the further you go in the industry as well. My degree, because I've graduated in 2015, so it's been about four years, almost four years since I graduated college, matters less and less as I go through this industry. If I go apply to a new job, let's say I leave my current job and go to a new place, I start interviewing, they're not gonna ask me about my degree because I've been in this industry for four years. They're gonna ask me about the previous companies that I worked at and the things that I worked on and how those things went. Maybe the challenges that I had to face and how I navigated those challenges. So as you guys see, a degree is kind of like a way to get your foot in the door if you don't have much experience. However, if you have 10 years of software development experience and no degree and you're brilliant, they're not gonna turn you down because you don't have a degree. There have been instances of companies such as Google, and this is Google we're talking about. We all understand that Google has a high bar for their software engineers. Matter of fact, probably a high bar for anybody that they hire just because so many people wanna work there. There have been instances of companies such as Google hiring software engineers that do not have degrees because they happen to be brilliant and they have a body of work to prove that. And they did very well in the interviews. So obviously they were able to demonstrate their knowledge in a way that impressed Google enough to extend an offer to them. So to wrap this video up, no, you guys do not need a degree to be a software engineer. I don't want any of you guys out there feeling discouraged because you do not have a degree you can always start learning how to build software online. You can go to YouTube. I made a video on that as well, and I'll throw 
a annotation up there, basically linking to that video on resources to learn how to code, free resources as well. We live in a day and age where you can learn anything that you wanna learn on the internet. You just gotta put the work in. So I don't want any of you out there you're making an excuse, I don't have a degree. Wayne, how am I supposed to get a job? No, you can get a job, I guarantee you, you can. If you start building things today and you start working on that skill set, start building up your portfolio, it'll be no time before you'll have so many opportunities coming your way, you won't know what to do with them. With that being said, thanks so much for tuning in to this one, guys. I'm about to go hang out with my family. We're actually going to an amusement park today, so that should be pretty fun. It is so hot out here today, man. It's like. 90 plus degrees and humid man this midwest summer i have not missed it i'm probably sweating right now but it's all good but anyways thanks so much for tuning in if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content in the future be sure to click that link down in the description and follow your boy on ig if you have any additional questions matter of fact the topic of this video came from an instagram question so whoever you are thanks so much for submitting that to me but anyways thanks for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next one peace